Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media here with my first ever Raid Shadow Legends video on this channel. Now, you guys might have seen some promos I've done for this game in the past in previous videos, but honestly guys, I've been playing this game quite a bit recently and I gotta say it's actually a pretty fun game. So in today's video, I wanted to share that experience with you guys and to show you what this game is all about. But before we proceed any further, before we do anything else, make sure you guys go down to the links in my description and install this game for yourself on your iOS device or your Android device or maybe both if you want, that's totally up to you. But the reason I tell you to do that is because when you use my links to install the game, you will get a ton of amazing rewards that will give you the best possible start with this game. And these rewards are really legit guys. I'm talking 100k silver, 50 gems, one energy refill, and the very powerful champion, Executioner, who will easily carry you through the early game. And of course, all of this stuff can be found right in your inbox when you first log in, but make sure you get it done as soon as possible because these links and the offer will only be valid for the next 30 days. And without further ado, let's dive in. Now, if you guys have been watching me for any period of time, you know how much we love to do summons on this channel in any game. So before we show you any gameplay, let's actually kick things off with a quick 20 summons and see if we can pull one of these super, super rare legendary champions. As you can see, the rates for them are not the best. We're using ancient shards and it's a 0.5% it's a rate to pull a legendary champion. So not very likely, but definitely, definitely possible. And maybe for our first video, we'll get blessed. You never know, right? So 0.5% chance for a legendary champion, 8% chance for an epic champion, which is still pretty freaking good. They're still really, really useful. And a 91.5% chance to pull a rare champion. So uh, let's see what happens, guys. All right, let's start with the first single here. Maybe I'll do like, I don't know, 10 singles and then a multi. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And we're starting off with an epic champion right off the bat. It looks like it's Relic Keeper. Looks to be some kind of knight dude with a shield and a hammer. And uh, pretty dope armor, to be honest. Yeah, so I like the design of these characters a lot in this game. Even the lower rarity characters, like later on we get more three stars. Uh, you guys will see, they put a lot of attention to detail into the costumes and the design of all these characters, which is pretty awesome. All right, so that is our first single. Let's do another one. And we are getting, come on, legendary, come on. That's a rare. Okay, so blue light is rare, purple light is epic, and obviously orange light is a legendary. I have yet to, no, actually, I think I got one before. We'll check my box in a second. Okay, so here we have Channeler, and as you can see, guys, even for like these rare, like three star characters, um, the design is actually still really dope. Like, look at, look at the detail on the sword and all that stuff. And uh, the hair, the braids, and the skull, and all that. like everything looks really, really clean. Um, I love it. I love it. That's one of my favorite things about this game, man. I just feel like the attention to detail is on point. All right. That's single number three. Another rare. Okay. At least they're all new characters, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember getting any of these guys. All right, we've got a Halberdier. Halberdier? <laughs> Yo, I'm not really sure how to say this guy's name. Yo, uh, don't, don't judge me. All right, all right. We're just going to move past that. Uh, there we go. That is our third champion. We're going to do... Let's do seven more singles. And then we'll jump into a multi. And then I'll show you guys some gameplay after that. Okay, so we're getting a dupe already. Damn, look at that. Um, I mean, at least he's dope. He's <laughs> he's dope. I was gonna say dupe, but he is dupe, but he's also dope. Um, not really sure if we can do anything with dupes in this game. I guess we'll find out later on. But let's keep going. Single number five, guys. Come on. All right, what are we getting? Yo, this guy's dope. Look at that. Oh, Ogryn Jailer. Oh, by the way, all these characters have like different tribes that they're part of. So this guy's part of the Ogryn tribe, obviously. Um, the epic guy I think we got was from the Sacred Order. And there are just so many champions in this game, man. There's like hundreds of them you can collect. And uh, if you guys are, you know, the collecting type, you guys enjoy summoning and collecting a bunch of different characters with like cool, unique designs and, you know, unique movesets and all that stuff, then this game's kind of in your wheelhouse, man. All right, so we got an Ogryn Jailer. Um pretty sweet I like the skulls on his little tunic there okay 
Next up, come on. Let's get let's get a legendary champion today, man. Yo, I feel like for this video we gotta we gotta get something good. Okay, another Ogren tribe siege breaker. Um, similar to the last guy we got, but with different armor. That's cool. All right, come on. I know it's a 0.5% chance, but anything's okay. We got Sentinel. Yo, this guy's kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like just this face. It's it's a little bit creepy. All right, cool. I do like the I, like, I do like the gold plated armor though. I think that's pretty sweet. All right, single number. I lost track. Twelve? No, eight. <laughs> single number eight. All right, this guy's perforator. He's got a crossbow, and he is part of the dwarf faction. And uh, the cool thing is, people can also rate each champion. So before you you know like actually use them, or you don't have to like go online to check. When you pull a new character, you can just click the reviews and uh, see what people rate them for like different events and stuff like that which is pretty sweet i do like that feature i feel like other gacha games should definitely implement something like that just so you can save some time instead of like having to go online and search for uh, a new character you pull or something like that you can literally just click on reviews and see what people think about it right okay so that is perforator next up come on legendary champion that's another rare okay um chopper i think i got this guy before all right, so he is an orc. Um, I mean, really cool still, nonetheless. I mean, a little bit basic, actually. But, hey, I mean, it's, it's a three-star, man. They can't make all three stars super unique and special, right? All right. Uh, oh, we have to increase our slots. Oh, let's do that, then. There we go. All right. Number 10. And then, you know what? We're going to do a multi after this. Let's hit up a multi. Maybe the multi will bring us better luck. All right, so that is Kale. Um... <laughs> Some kind of wizard dude, a dark elf rather, dark elf. My bad, my bad. Okay, um, I guess let's just you know, let's just hit the multi. You know what? I've been stalling for too long. We've already done ten singles, got one epic champion, which is good. But we're here for the legendaries. All right, so here we go. If you guys want to join me in this summon, if you feel like uh, doing a summon in you know this game or something else, maybe you're opening a pack of cards or something like that, then make sure then feel free rather to join me. And we're gonna go in three, two. Actually, do I click this one first? All right, here we go. Let's increase our slots. And then we're gonna go in three, two, one. Let it rip. All right, first multi. Come on, that's, oh, okay, that's an epic, that's an epic. Legendary, 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 come on. Oh, uh, it's not looking so good. It's not looking so good. <sighs> okay. All right, well, this epic is... Oh, she's pretty. <laughs> yo, come on, Tiger. She's a... She's a... She's, she's pixels, man. I hope my girlfriend's not watching, man. She's gonna be like, yo, you're such a freaking nerd. Um, So we got Talia. She is pretty, though. I, I do have a thing for redheads, not gonna lie. Once again, hoping my girlfriend's not watching. Okay. And uh, pretty sweet armor. She is part of the Sacred Order. Um, Nice. I like it. I like it. All right, so we've done our summons, guys. And unfortunately, did not get a legendary. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys were lucky enough to pull a legendary in your first couple of summons. Um, but why don't we jump into the gameplay? You know what? I'll rate this game later. Let's go to battle. I'm going to go to campaign. And I'm going to start from the first chapter for you guys so you can see the game from the very beginning. And uh, let's start from stage one, I guess. That makes sense, right? Okay. So as far as characters go... I'm gonna bring a few of our new characters that we just pulled. So let's bring the redhead Talia right there. And let's also bring. Uh, who else do we wanna bring? Who else do we wanna bring? Man, I actually have a lot of champions. I, even, <laughs> I didn't even realize. Um, you know what? This. Oh, hold on. Is that a five star? I think it's a five star. Yeah, dude, we have a five star. That's, that's a legendary. When did I pull this one? It must have been like last week or something when I was doing my first summons. Damn, dude. I forgot about this one. Okay, so we have War Mother. Um, not the most appealing. I mean, her, her design is unique for sure. But not the most appealing um, legendary champion, not gonna lie. I'll show you guys some of the other legendary champions of the game uh, later on. Um, a lot of them look a lot cooler than this one. But hey, man, it's it's a legendary. A legendary is a legendary. So let's just jump in here and show you guys the gameplay. Here we go. The more champions fight, the more EXP they earn, the more powerful they become. Makes sense. 
All right, so essentially... Uh, oh, no story. Okay, so I think it's because I already played this. So you basically choose the character you're using, and then you choose what move you want to use. So for here, we're going to use Mother's Touch, which attacks all enemies and instantly detonates um, all debuffs if this attack is critical. Then it's all debuffs. Interesting. Damage based on attack. Okay, let's see what this does. Mother's Touch. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I think we're a little bit OP for this stage. I'm not going to lie. Because it's like a tutorial stage, right? Special Brew. Attacks all enemies. Places a bomb debuff that detonates after three turns. Sweet. Okay, and they're all dead. Yeah, we might need a bit more of a challenge than this. Um, can we use Tally this time? I think we can. Okay, so let's just use a regular move for our mother. And he's down. <laughs> All right. And let's use Talia this time. Places a counterattack deep buff on this champion for two turns. Uh, has a 75% chance of placing a 25% weaken debuff on enemies for two turns. And this one is Rise to Duty. Attacks all enemies. Let's do that. Okay, sweet. We did it, guys. It was... It was a hard fought battle um you know i didn't think we were gonna make it <laughs> for a second there but hey you know what we did it we got through it let's move on to the next chapter um let's try some other champions here okay so this orc lady looks pretty sweet actually let's see what she is um okay shaman oh wow look at that yeah the 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 details on these characters guys like the details are amazing i love that i love that all right so we're gonna use the shaman and uh, let's also use jerig that's sick okay let's use this guy yo I don't, I don't like like there's so many champions i have in my in my collection right now right and like i haven't used a lot of them but they all look sick like what can i say okay so for her let's use recall oh that's a revive actually okay so she has a revive skill text one enemy places a 15 percent Increase crit rate buff on all allies. Okay, so she attacks and she buffs your allies. Sweet. Exploit weakness and he's dead. Okay, what does this guy do? Uh, pack leader. That's a protection and this is a heal. Oh, so this guy's more of a support type unit. Interesting. Yo, this dude. Okay, you guys see on the top left corner of the screen. To Stormfire Ascended Foley. So what they do is uh, when certain people pull like five star champions, like legendary champions or legendary items or ascend certain things or upgrade certain weapons and stuff like that, they let you know, right? And Foley, I, when I was looking through the, the index, right, for the champions, Foley was one of the guys I was like, yo, that guy looks so freaking sick, man. I really hope I get this guy. And obviously you guys saw the rates for legendary champions. Not super high, so um, obviously I didn't get him. But dude, I'm I'm a little bit salty. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit salty. Um, can we use this right now? Re oh, revives an ally. No, we can't. Okay, so let's just slice him up with our swords there. I mean, easy work. Um, yeah, I really hope I get Foley one of these days, man. He looks really freaking sick. There we go. Um, I guess we're gonna keep attacking. Maybe we should do a harder stage after this. Let's go to let's go to the current chapter I'm on. Let's go to chapter three. Um, and hopefully we get a little bit more of a challenge there because these guys are not doing it for us, man. You guys get the general idea of the game flow. I think that's the important part. You guys get um, how the game exactly kind of works. You basically, it's like a turn-based uh, RPG. You're taking turns between uh, the enemy attacking and you attacking. You have different skills for each character and uh, you can level them up, power them up. And you can also get equipment for them to make them even more powerful with different relics and stuff like that. So uh, there is definitely a lot to learn about this game. And I'm personally still, you know, learning a lot of the mechanics. But I got to say, like the stuff that I've done so far, it's it does it does like interest me because I'm the kind of guy that loves collecting. I'm the kind of person that loves to um power up like my characters and stuff like that uh, i used to play a lot of like old school rpgs on the on the pc on my consoles and stuff like that so totally totally in my wheelhouse and that's why i wanted to share this game with you guys um let's go to stage selection because that was not super challenging so let's go to stage two boom boom and we're gonna change up these champions real quick and replace them with our our own much better champions. Actually, I think those are our champions too, but with the better champions. Okay, so let's go with this guy. Let's go with, let's go with War Mother, our only legendary champion. 
and we'll go with him as well since he looks pretty cool okay let's start the more your champions fight the more xp they earn and the more powerful they become i read that one it makes sense makes sense the more you level up the more damage you do <laughs> the higher stats are makes sense all right um mother's touch let's do mother's touch i think we're gonna take them all out in one hit once again yeah okay so legendary champions pretty op in this game pretty op uh let's do this special brew oh one guy survived okay i see you um well let's go here rise to duty and now he's dead round three i gotta say man i'm just too good at this game what, what, what can i say like <laughs> I, I I feel like I feel like it would be harder if it was someone else playing, but since it's me playing this game, it's just how it goes. It's just how it goes. When I, whenever I start a new game, I'm just like instantly amazing at it. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Don't take it too seriously, guys. All in good fun. Um, let's see. So feebleness attacks win. Okay, let's try this. Damn. Okay. Um, calamity. Let's try calamity. Cry for blood, increase the speed, counterattack, alpha. Okay, so the enemies buff themselves, but they didn't attack. This guy's gonna counter, but I'm guessing if we just kill him, he can't counter. Okay, yeah, he's dead. He's not gonna be countering anybody. Um, and we're gonna finish off with that one attack from Talia. Perfect, I love it. And we're level eight now, sweet. Tavern unlocked. Uh, very nice, very nice. Okay, guys, so I think I'm gonna leave it there for today's video. Um, I may be back in the future for more Raid Shadow Legends videos as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it so far. Um, I think the summoning aspect is definitely going to get a lot of people already because I know you guys um, love summoning too, just based off, you know, you watching my other content, right? And uh, like I said, I've been enjoying this game quite a bit. Definitely plan to play more of it in the future. And that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And like I said, guys, remember to install the game for your devices with the links in my description for awesome rewards for an amazing, amazing way to start the game. Once again, that's 100k silver, 50 gems, one full energy refill, and an executioner. But get it done as soon as possible because this offer is only good for the next 30 days. And until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.